What's up, you fuzzy little man peaches? Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replicate any photo that was taken by a camera. Now, all you really need is Mid Journey and Google Bard. So let's get into it, guys. It's really easy. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to Google Bard. Remember, it's free, guys. You wanna grab the image that you wanna replicate. I made sure that all these photo were high resolution photos. Now, this is the prompt, it's nothing special. Describe this photo and provide a Mid Journey prompt. Let's press enter. Okay, so it's actually provided me two prompts. The first prompt is here, and it's also given me options here to add key elements into the prompt. And then the second prompt is over here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the example with both prompts, and we're gonna decide which one was the better one. All right, now let's head over to Mid Journey. The first thing I wanna do is I want to upload the actual image on here. All right, image is uploaded. So let's click into it. Let's go open in browser. Let's grab the URL. All right, let's go back to Mid Journey. Let's go Imagine, enter the URL. Now let's head back to Google Bard. Let's grab this prompt. And then the other thing that I wanted to uh, grab is just this part here, the natural light, hyper-realistic, cinematic detailed. And uh, make sure as well, guys, this photo is in the aspect ratio of 16 by nine. So let's make sure we include that as well. All right, so let's check out the results. All right, so this was the actual results that we got. I'm not happy with the outcome. Now, the, the problem that I'm experiencing right now is that the angle of the actual shot is not the right angle. We wanna get a bird's eye view. So let's make a few changes ourselves. Let's grab the prompt. All right, so the only thing I've done I've added at the start of the prompt, a bird's eye view of a pile of colorful rocks in a beach. Let's just see if it changes anything. All right, so here are the results, guys. So once I added the bird's eye view, you can now see that we're getting a better response. I'm gonna upscale the first one just so we can have a very, very detailed comparison with the example photo. All right, so there you have it, guys. The photo on the left is AI and the photo on the right is the example photo. Okay, so this first prompt that I've used is not a perfect replicate, but it still gives the same concept of the example photo. Let's go back and try that other prompt and let's see if we get better results. All right, here are the results. I made sure I included a bird's eye view, but everything else I just copied from Google Bard. All right, and I upscaled the fourth example so we can have a side-by-side -side comparison. Now it's not an exact replicate, but I'll be honest guys, this one seems to be a better prompt than the first prompt. All right, here's the second example. I've gone with the first prompt that Google Bard provided me. Image on the right is real and the image on the left is AI generated. Now, obviously it's picking up the concept, the trees, the nature, the colors of the grass, the dirt road. Obviously the road is not exactly perfect. If I had to say the closest one is probably number four. Let's upscale that. All right, look, it's not perfect, but I'm still impressed with how close it was able to replicate the actual image. And it's actually pretty hot. It's a pretty detailed uh, image as well itself. So I could imagine people falling for this and thinking this is the real photo as well. So that's the first example. Let's show the second example. All right, here's the example with the second prompt. There's no visible difference between this prompt and the first one. So for this specific image, I don't think it matters which prompt you go with. All right, last example, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the tiger that's in the thumbnail. All right, so this is the results from the first prompt. I'm very impressed with the results. All right, I've upscaled the fourth option there. And you can see the tiger is obviously not in the same angle the pause kind of up forward, but it's very, very good. You know, one thing I like about the photo on the left, the background looks very, very realistic. I'm, this is really good. I'm really happy with the result. Now, I believe the second prompt is better. All right, so these are the results with the second prompt, which are just as good. I'm gonna upscale the fourth one there. Okay, and I'm really happy with the results. Like not only is the camera angle the same, all of the colors, the snow flickering up, the details on the actual tiger. This is probably the, the best example I've been able to show in this video. That's it for the example, guys. I want you guys to go try this out and I want you guys to let me know how you went, if you found this was helpful. And if you're able to send me some examples, you can send it to me on Twitter or you can send it to me on Instagram and I'll be able to see what results you guys get. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.